What's up, Fat Kid Nation? Welcome to today's fat adventure at Fat Shack. This is located just south of the Strip and a place that you're not gonna wanna skip. Known for their huge portions of fatty deep fried deliciousness, I'm here for their fat sandwich challenge. I'll have 30 minutes to eat three fully loaded fat sandwiches that come complete with onion rings, mozzarella sticks, chicken tenders, Philly beef, jalapeno poppers, mozzarella sticks, and so many fries, it makes me wanna cry. Here we go. Your five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. My strategy for today is pretty simple. Eat them like normal sandwiches, break up the flavors because as you saw, they have a long list of sauces. So you get your sandwich sauced and tossed like a boss in any flavor you want. So I'm going with one, buffalo ranch because that sounds absolutely delicious. Two, marinara because that seems like a flavor that would go well together and not that aggressive where like a honey mustard jalapeno might get a little old. And finally, for all of you, because I love you all, I am doing my last sandwich, ketchup. Get at me. We're a minute in and he's got half a sandwich down already. Oh, I think it's thick. So my first sandwich, I went with the Buffalo Ranch and boy did it deliver. It was absolutely tasty. I just wish there was more sauce. It did start to get a little bit dry, made me want to cry. I am the type of guy that likes to have my food sauced and tossed like a boss, dripping and drowning, otherwise I'm gonna be frowning, but absolutely delicious. Let me know below if you are the type like me where you love to have that sauce just pouring out of there, dripping everywhere. Taste is phenomenal. So far, the Buffalo Ranch, better than the marinara. Flesh, because I'm not a big Italian fan, but we're out here, we're hungry. He's very appetized, I can tell. I am, very much so, I love your food. I'm still on this right off the plate. Feel free. This will make it ugly. Here it is. The moment you've all been waiting for. You've searched high and low, and here you go. Your favorite former fat kid eating ketchup. Yes, I got lucky because it wasn't drowning in that red tomato water, but we're here. And this is all for you because we appreciate each and every one of you for all of your support. So I am eating ketchup because I knew you all would get a kick out of this. So enjoy your favorite former fat kid eating some ketchup. I think we can all agree that the, we thought with the 115 degree temperatures outside that I was gonna have the meat sweats under three minutes. So I cleared the over, five minutes in we have some meat sweats. But today is a very special adventure for me. I'm out here with a local digital magazine, Bite Sized Magazine, where they take little bites of different restaurants around town and they're out here to check me out to see what is this competitive eating food challenge life like. You know, a lot of restaurants have the same sushis and things like that, so it's all about different. When they came to Fast Shack, they're like, boy, we get it. Giant sandwiches, a rad dude with attitude cramming food down his mouth. Like, this is the place to be for new, unique bites. 
Yeah, you know, I will say that though. Look how well they like stick together. Where normally yeah. it's like you eat like a subway and like you take three oh, bites, and next thing you know it's in your lap. You get tired of the flavor, right? Because your body's like, we've had enough salt. It's like yeah. you get ice cream, different game. Now your body's like kind of over this. You get like tired. Like kind of like you're boxing. You get in those later rounds. You're like, and you gotta kind of. That's where we're at now. Like I'm not full. It's called flavor fatigue. Like your mouth gets so tired of that same flavor. Like man, you got the different sauce. Usually after, like, the most I've ever eaten was like 16 pounds of pho, and you drink the broth, so that's like liquid weight, all day, right? So you will see that sometimes, like when everyone's like, oh, you want dessert? Absolutely. Yeah. So what I was explaining to Bite Size Magazine is that, you know, I'm eating all this fried food. There's tons of sodium, enough sodium for one person probably for a month. And that usually after these challenges, people go, oh, do you want dessert? Absolutely, because that nice balance of salty sweet after ingesting all that sodium, it's so nice and refreshing to get a nice scoop of even just generic vanilla ice cream, something to offset that's a little bit sweeter. So I'm explaining to them that a lot of the times we can't eat to our capacities. It's our body naturally just shutting us down from that flavor. As this adventure comes to a close, Fat Kid Nation, we appreciate you checking out your favorite former Fat Kid at a Fat Kid's Paradise Fat Shack with all their delicious and nutritious deep fried deliciousness. And let me tell you, I got some fried Oreos and fried cheesecake bites after this challenge, and oh my God, they were delicious. Let me know down below if like my post challenge snacking you'd like to see because the fun don't stop until I drop. So thank you for checking out this video. Make sure to check out Bite Sized Magazine, a local Vegas digital based magazine. So when you come to Vegas, you know all the eats, treats and sweets that you need to get. <clears throat> Make sure to like, share and subscribe. Hit the notification bell because it's swell. Stay sick, stay thick. And we'll see you back here on Friday at 1 p.m. for another adventure. Have a great week.